softball coach Greg Olsted. First uh, official practice uh, of the spring for your team, first day back with your team. How exciting is it to have, have the girls back? And, and here we go, season starting. You know, we're ready to get rolling. We're, you know, we've, we've had a, a good month off or so, and, and uh, we're excited to get rolling because we uh, start playing games pretty quickly here on our, on our Hawaii trip at the end of January. So excited to be back and excited to, to start working again and, and get ready for the season. Uh, you return eight, eight players from uh, last year's team, 33 and 11, won the NSIC championship. Uh, how, how do you feel about your team after all this off season, working with them uh, heading into the season? You know, I, I'm really proud of what they've accomplished so far this year. You know, they're they're uh, they're doing a good job. They're working hard, and uh, they're getting ready for the season. And and uh, you know, we're we're going to be a little bit different team than we were last year. And I'm really proud of, of how they're adjusting to to uh, uh, the team that we have this year and, and kind of the strengths that we have this year uh, compared to the strengths that we've had in, in years past. And and uh, they're, they're just working hard and doing a good job right now. Talk a little bit about uh, that. This Caitlin Nickel led the nation home <coughs> last year. Janelle led the nation in, in our and obviously you know what Janelle's in her career, but like you said, it's going to be a different team. You're a little more reliant on your speed and, and quickness and moving the ball around and, and, and getting runners around a different way than you're used to. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I definitely agree. You know, you don't you don't graduate over 50 home runs and, and have your team be a little bit different the next year. Uh, we're still going to be a powerful team. We're still going to hit home runs. And you know, I don't know if we'll hit 80 something like we did last year, but uh, you know, our, our strengths are going to be how how we're running bases. Our strengths are going to be putting the ball in play and, and contact hitters and and everybody contributing and and. Uh, um, you know, so they've they've been really working hard on on that, and, and our defense is is really good right now. Probably uh, the best we've been in in in, in a while. Uh, pitching wise, you return uh, Carly Pickett, an all NSC performer, two years ago led the nation in saves. Uh, Carly Cooper as well, who, who showed some really uh, uh, impressive improvements uh, late into the season last year. She was really good for down the stretch and in the whole season. Uh, what, what do you expect out of those two this year? You know, I, I really like our pitching staff this year. You know, we, we've got, uh, you know, a veteran pitcher in, in, in Pickett, and, and uh, she just does a really nice job. And then, you know, I'm really excited for Carly Koopman. Uh, you know, this is this is her time to shine. And, and uh, you know, she's a six six plus foot kid and and uh you know uh she's just really doing a good job she's she's just gotten stronger and better um every day this year just really proud of the work that she's put in and we're excited about that mix and then also excited about uh, maggie Danette, our freshman being able to pick up some innings too and, and then possibly sarah kennedy you know it's this is this is a good staff and and i emphasize the word staff because that's that's really the name of the game for us this year is is them all working together and and using their strengths to to make this team that's as good as we possibly can be. They just mentioned Sarah Kennedy, the National Player of the Year, and they last year the sophomore. She's back, and obviously, uh, you know, what you have with her, I mean, the year she had last year, hit 500 for um, the entire season. Just about uh, talk about uh, it's like to have her back and maybe moving into that upper class leadership role. Yeah, you know, she, she's just a phenomenal player. I mean, we're just, you know, lucky to have a kid like that. And she was on fire this fall, too. You know, she just kind of picked up where she left off last year. And, and you know, she, she's a really good shortstop, but she's really good in center field, and she's really good in another position. And she's, she's just an all-around really good softball player. And, uh, you know, having that caliber of kid on your team is, is always exciting. And, and uh, we're excited of we're excited for Sarah and what, what she can do this year. A little different start to the season for your team this year. You're down to Hawaii and, and play a game in January. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I guess obviously the kids are excited to, uh, to get down to Hawaii, but uh, uh, how are they, you know, what are they looking forward to in the trip? And obviously different spring break schedule for you this year, but uh, how are you guys preparing and looking forward to that trip? You know, it's just totally different than what we've done in the past because we're putting spring break at the beginning of the year instead of about the middle. And uh, you know, the kids are excited to, to try something different than, than Florida and excited to, to go to Hawaii. I mean, it's just it's a once in a lifetime experience for these kids, you know. So, so um, you know, not only is it a trip to, to you know get better and, and and play softball and, and kick the year off in a, on a right note but this is a this is a trip where kids can can learn and and uh, you know see some things that they've never uh, seen and be exposed to and and uh, just just excited to be able to give them this opportunity all right coach well, uh, thanks for joining us here today and good luck here with your season rolling thanks